Hello guys, welcome to another video. Today I'm going to be showing you how to um, configure your uh, Dark RP server for Gary's Mod. Um, so, first I'm going to show you how to work with setting up jobs and classes, um, stuff like that, like entities. Um, this is a very simple thing once you get the hang of it, and uh, you can really do some cool things with your server. So, um, first thing you go into is entities. No, wait, not entities, sorry. My bad. Game mode. And go into the shared file. This file right here is basically every job that you have on your server currently. Um, if you're still stuck with the default, uh, I've edited this one a little bit. It's a bit modified. Um, like I've added the SWAT rank and stuff like that. So, um, Basically, what I do with this file is I do a lot of copying and pasting, but I'll show you the things that you need to change and what you need to be careful of if you're going to be doing this stuff. So, um, let's start off with making a rank like, uh, hmm, I'll have to think of this. A really cool one, I don't know, a, uh, do I have car dealer? Yeah, I've got car dealer. Hmm. Got to think of a really good one. I don't know. IT. How about that one? Computer worker guy. If you guys have PC mod. So this right here is basically the label for the job. Kind of like uh, if you watched my old video on how to set up permissions. The one that I just did, I don't know, like a couple hours ago actually. But uh, this is basically the team. So we're going to name that uh, computer. I'm just going to do comp, keep it short, um, and let's do computer salesman. Now this right here is um, a different type of color code, I, it's RGB I'm pretty sure, and I do not know RGB um, completely, and I am not sure what color this is, this is basically brown. I guess for hobo but you guys can just uh, what I do is I'll go into my Gary's mod open my context menu and uh, go into my player model and you know change through the colors and just you know copy the code out and put it inside of here so um right there's your color right here is the model of the player uh, so what I do to get that is I'll go into my spawn menu I will um, pick out the model that I want you can right click it and click um, copy to clipboard I believe it is then you come inside of here and paste it usually when you'll get this stuff it will pop up being like this if it is like this you need to add the slash player and that makes it a player model or else you'll just kind of be all buggy and your arms will be sticking out and uh, your fist gun won't be in your hand and if it is it's really screwed up and uh, let's say you do add player and it doesn't work for some reason, then that current model is not really, you know, it doesn't want to work. So, um, hmm, I think I'm going to use this model because bankers and computer salesmen kind of look alike in a slight way. So, um, this right here is the description. When you're inside of the menu picking your job, this is what pops up instead of that little right hand corner uh, so I would put inside of here uh, you sell computers to players using PC mod okay so this is gonna be the weapons that they're gonna have I really don't think that a computer salesman should have any weapons now, it's been a while since I've done this, so I don't know how you can really take the weapons away. There's a way inside of here that you can. It's um, it's up here somewhere. Let me just uh, find it right here. Yeah, you just do that. Leave it empty, and it'll be fine. Um, remove those. And now, this is the command. Like, you would do slash hobo to um, become a hobo, so... Instead, we're going to change that to computer salesman. Sales, wait. Whatever. Computer. How about that? Now, this is the max amount of players that 
can become that job or uh, rank, whatever you want to call it. And uh, I would say maybe two people would want to be that. Uh, salary is how much they make, so I would probably set that to $65. Um, and admin, this makes it, if, um, well, this will set it so only admins can take this job. And I do not want that. Um, this makes it so you have to vote for the job like police officer would. And I don't think you should have to do that. Uh, license, I am pretty sure that just gives you a gun license. And this means that you can be demoted, but I don't see a reason why you would need to be demoted from a computer salesman unless you're AFK. So this is... Um, you know, basically it. This is all you have to do. You can add as many jobs as you want. Um, you can just have, you know, 20 if you want. You can have three. It doesn't really matter. Uh, but just like the permissions file, if you ever have any problems, you're going to want to remove everything you did and uh, try saving it again. Now, with Gary's Mod, when you're restarting it, like once you put the code inside of here, it's not going to really work until you save the file. So just do Control S, and that will basically make the server reload really quickly and take everything into effect. Um, so that's basically what I do, and uh, you'll be able to tell if there's a problem. It'll pop up saying there's uh, script errors, and if you guys have any problems with that, you can uh, send this file to me. I could look it over, or we could go into a Skype call and do a view or something, or we could just, you know, message through it. doesn't really matter. Um, so I think I may as well just um, show you some other things about editing this file. In here, you can add groups that can open doors and own doors. For example, this right here is, um, like, the doors that are the, um, police department. So I make that so the police chief, you know, regular police, mayor, SWAT, and admin can all access this. The gun dealer, I don't usually set that one, but if you want to add another one, just to, you know, add door group. And then, uh, for example, um, no access. I know I probably misspelled that. I'm just really tired. And um, then you just make that so, I don't know, team admin. And there you go. So next, these are agendas. These can be extremely buggy, I've heard. So I don't really mess around with them. Um, so I'm guessing right here, I can just tell by looking at this, this makes it so the person can set it. So the mayor can now set um, the agenda for these um, jobs. And the mob boss can do it for this. Um, so next, these are group chats. Uh, this is, um, yeah, okay, I'm going to add one real quick because I haven't really thought of this. I'm going to add one for the police. Uh, so we're going to make it Team Police. Uh, and we're going to do Team, uh, let's see, Chief, Team Admin, not Admin, sorry, Team Mayor. And last but not least, Team SWAT. Okay, so now this, I don't usually mess around with this. Uh, I believe, oh, this is, oh yeah, this stuff I do mess around with. This um, allows a certain job to be able to do warrants and stuff like that. For example, with SWAT, I had to add that in so they could... Uh, arrest people, um, use battering rams, stuff like that, get warrants, be a part of the police force. So, um, yeah, that's basically what that part does, and that's um, almost everything you can do with this file. Now, next I'm going to show you the config. Uh, you know what? No, not the config. We'll just take a peek at this. This is very, very, very simple. It shows you everything it does for you, and uh, you can go through, edit your server, and this is basically full control over it. Now, um, next is the add entities.
This is a file where if you are going to have a computer salesman or salesman of any kind, you're going to need to uh, work with this. Now, this is for adding shipments, for example, I have weed here for a drug dealer, and this is the model of it that you're going to see when you're um, inside of your menu, your entities menu, and it is the crate. Now, this is the entity that is inside of the crate that it will dispense. Um, now, you can get the entity name out of the entities file inside of your RP. You know, you could probably figure that out. If you need help with that, just, you know, message me. And the price is, you know, quite a bit of money here. And, yeah. Wait a second. Yeah, I'm sorry. I'm getting a bit off track. Okay, so the price, that changes the price of how much you have to purchase it how much it is to purchase it. This is how many you can purchase at once so people can't be spawning crates. This makes it uh, separate. I forgot. Let me think about this. This um, It does something. I'll think about it when we're talking about this. This I wouldn't mess with. I don't know what it does. This makes it so I'm pretty sure it'll just spawn maybe uh, 10 of these things. I don't know. Um, I... Uh... I think that's what it does. Now, this is who can spawn it, the drug dealing team. And, um, yeah, I added those for my drug dealing. And then we have the entities. These are, uh, these are different. These are like spawning singles, like, um, instead of buying a shipment of pistols, buying a single pistol. So it's basically everything that's down here with a different name, um, and a couple different things. Um,. Next we have up here somewhere, I think, add custom vehicles, but I don't know. I think that might be way down at the bottom. Now, uh, let's see. Yeah, add custom vehicle. This is so the car dealer rank that I was talking about earlier can spawn in a airboat or a jeep and, uh, you know, have this price for how much it is. Now, I know that adding the custom vehicle isn't the same like this. I don't know why. It's just it seems to work like this. So, um, yeah, I didn't really follow the rules with this. I just kind of built above it. But, yeah, you can just, you know, add, copy and paste like we did with the other file. And, uh, let's see, ammo types. I don't think I've ever really worked with this. Uh, I could probably take a look at it and see. Okay, so, yeah, you can... I've seen ammo instead of the entities list, so I believe that right here, this changes the um, the model of it inside of the spawn menu. This is, yeah, this is, it explains how to do it all right here. Um, so, what else do we have here that we could look at? Um, hmm. Okay, well, this right here, uh, I'm just going to point this out right now, and I'm probably going to make a separate video on it. Um, if you're starting up your server and you're getting an error that keeps popping up, it's the most annoying one you'll ever have. It took me hours upon hours upon hours, days and weeks to be able to figure out what it was. It says, cannot find file client under, well, cl underscore init um, dot lua or whatever. That is just one of the errors I will never forget, and I will uh, teach you how to fix that. Um, the only real problem with it is is uh, it's a very simple fix. You need to get Notepad++, and uh, when you uh, go up to it, it's going to look like a regular Notepad, like you'd usually open it with. You right-click it, click Open With, and... Uh, you get Notepad++, which is sometimes down here. But I keep mine up here because I'm using it right now. And uh, you check that in. You click OK. And that should fix your problem. Um, if you guys have any other troubles with your RP servers, you can feel free to ask me. I'm also uh, very good at port forwarding. I can teach you how to do all that stuff. So, uh, yeah, just, you know, Skype me. My username is YouTube25, just like it is for everything. Or you can uh, leave something in the comments or email me which I'm pretty sure YouTube has it on there I don't know but uh, I hope you guys enjoyed this video I hope it helped you and I will see you later bye